गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आज हम लोग पढ़ेंगे सोलर सिस्टम अब जान रहे हैं कि सन स्टार है है ना सन स्टार वह एक तारा है स्टार है और सन के चारों ओर जितने प्लानिट्स हैं वो सब राउंड मार अर्थ है मर्क्यूरी है वेनस है नेपट्यून है प्लूटो है सब उसी के इर्द गिर्द आप तो क्या करते हैं राउंड करते हैं है ना और यूनिवर्स में बहुत से ऑब्जेक्ट है तो केवल प्लानिट ही नहीं और भी बहुत से ऑब्जेक्ट है जो सन के सूर्य के चारों ओर क्या करते हैं परिक्रमा करते हैं राउंड करते रहते हैं उल्का पिंड है हाले में आप पढ़े थे कि उल्का पिंड पृथ्वी से टकराएगा अर्थ से टकरा जाएगा है ना तो बहुत से चीजें हैं जो ऑर्बिट में अपने और सभी अपने अपने ऑर्बिट में घूमते हैं ये नहीं कि इधर इधर ऐसे नहीं अपने अपने ऑर्बिट में सब घूमते रहते हैं आप ये जो देख रहे हैं ये नमूना किसका है ये अर्थ अर्थ प्लानिट्स ये प्लानिट्स ये भी सन के चारों राउंड मारता है वैसे भी राउंड मारता है और ऐसे भी राउंड मारता है अपने ये अक्ष है अक्ष पर भी ऐसे ऐसे राउंड मरता है ऐसे ये देख रहे ना इस तरह से ऐसे 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 और जिससे राउंड मारने से अपने दो अक्ष पर राउंड मारेगा उसे डे एंड नाइट हो रहा तो देखिए क्या आपका सोलर सिस्टम में पढ़ना है Life on it. 
It revolves around the sun and also rotates on its axis, causing day and night. Mars, Mangal. It is red in color and hence called red planet. It has a large amount of water as ice is formed on polar caps. It is believed that there is some possibility of plant life on this planet. Jupiter, Brihaspati. This is the largest planet of the solar system. It is so large that around 1300 Earths can be placed inside it. Its surface is cold and is made up of several gases like hydrogen, helium and methane. Trivia The sun makes up 99.86% of the solar system's mass. That means that all the planets put together, including Jupiter, as well as all the other asteroids only make up about 0.14% of the solar system's mass. Saturn, Shani. It is a unique planet because it has three beautiful rings around it, possibly made of ice. It has very low temperature. It is least dense among all the planets. Uranus. It appears green on being viewed through a telescope and hence also called green planet. It is very far away from the sun and there is no possibility of life on it. Neptune It is slightly smaller than the Uranus but is a lifeless cold effort. It is farthest from the sun at a distance of about 4,469 million kilometers. Motions of the planets All planets exhibit two types of motions revolution and rotation. Revolution. According to the heliocentric theory, all the planets revolve around the sun in the same direction. However, the period of revolution is different for each planet. Each planet moves around the sun in an elliptical path called orbit. Since Mercury is the closest to the sun, it has the shock. to the sun, it has the shortest orbit. The gravitational pull of the sun keeps the planets orbiting in a fixed path. Rotation Each planet also rotates or spins on its own axis. The Earth's axis is the imaginary line joining the North Pole and South Pole. And on the Venus, all other planets rotate from where? And on the Venus, all other planets rotate from west to east. The Earth completes a rotation in about 23 hours and 56 minutes. Satellites Satellites are small heavenly bodies which revolve around the planets. All the planets revolve around the Sun. The satellites move with them. As a result, the satellites also revolve around the Sun. Like planets, Satellites shine by reflecting light from the sun. All planets, except Mercury and Venus, have satellites. The Earth has only one satellite called the Moon. Jupiter's satellite, known as Ganymede, is the largest. The Moon The Moon is the largest and brightest object in the night sky. It is the only natural satellite of the Earth. It shines because of its light colored surface reflects sunlight. As the moon revolves around the earth, its shape seems to change every night. We see varying amount of its sunlit part called phases of the moon. You can see the full moon only once in about a month's time. It is full moon night or Purnima. After 15 days time, you can watch the night sky best, provided it is a clear cloudless night. This is called new moon night 
और अमावस्या द मून हैज नो एटमोस्फेयर देर आर मेनी माउंटेन्स प्लेन्स एंड सर्कुलर डिप्रेशन कॉल्ड क्रीटर्स ऑन द सर्फिस ऑफ द मून We only find rocks and dust on the moon. During the day, its temperature is about 100 degrees Celsius, which falls to minus 15 degrees Celsius at night. Man has always been fascinated by the moon. Space explorations in recent years have brought to light many facts about the moon. In 1969, man's dream of going to the moon came true. as american astronaut neil armstrong became the first man to walk on the moon he brought back to earth some samples of lunar rock which suggests that moon has a dead surface other celestial bodies meteoroids they are shooting stars that crash into earth's atmosphere they move about in the space and go around the sun when they come near the earth's atmosphere as a result of friction they begin to glow and are called as meteors when such shooting stars are still in the solar system but would enter the earth's atmosphere they are called as meteoroids after entering the earth's atmosphere they may partly burn up and the fragments that reach the ground are known as meteorites asteroids Between Mars and Jupiter lies a belt of small bodies called asteroids. The largest of these tiny planets is Ceres. Many scientists and astronomers believe that asteroids are fragments of a planet which exploded long time ago. Comets. Comets are glowing objects made up of ice and dust with long tails. which we sometimes see streaking across the night sky comets spend most of the time in the far reaches of the solar system they form a tail and start to glow when they come near the sun since they follow a long path around the sun they take years to complete their orbit the most famous halley's comet appears after every 76 years It is named after British scientist Edmund Halley who first discovered it. It was last seen in the year 1986. Dwarf planet. It is a spherical heavenly body much smaller than a planet which orbits the sun. It differs from satellites as it has its own gravitational field to orbit the sun independently. Since its discovery in 1930 Pluto was considered to be a planet. But in the year 2006, the International Astronomical Union (IAU) adopted a new definition of planet in which Pluto does not fit. It is now reclassified as a dwarf planet. Ceres and Eris are two other dwarf planets apart from Pluto. Earth, a unique planet. Earth is the third planet from the sun and is the fifth largest planet. It is also called the blue planet as it reflects a mixture of blue and green light, blue because of oceans and green because of vegetation. The shape of our earth is like a sphere. It bulges at the equator and flattens at the pole. This shape is also unique and the greek called it geoid or earth like shape the earth is at an optimum distance from the sun this is the reason why earth is neither too hot nor too cold the mean surface temperature is 14 degrees celsius earth earth is the only planet in the universe which supports life this is because the conditions to support life exist on earth These conditions are availability of water, suitable temperature, breathable atmosphere due to the presence of life supporting gas oxygen. Breathable atmosphere. Living beings need oxygen to breathe in which is present on the earth. Plants need carbon dioxide for preparing their food through photosynthesis which is also present on the earth. Moreover, 
The presence of ozone in the Earth atmosphere protects plants and animals from harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun. Water The Earth is the only planet where liquid water is found. Water is also found on other planets but only in frozen form. Moderate temperature The Earth has an average temperature of 22 degrees Celsius which is suitable for the survival of plants and animals for survival. The other planets are either too hot or too cold. हमारी दुनिया कितनी खूबसूरत है है ना? पर इस दुनिया में सब अपनी रोज की जिंदगी में बिजी रहते हैं पर क्या आपने कभी सोचा है कि ये ब्रह्मांड जिसमें आप इतने सालों से रह रहे हो इसकी शुरुआत कैसे हुई जितनी घटनाएं हुई है उसकी शुरुआत कहाँ से हुई वैज्ञानिकों को ये पता चला कि हमारा ब्रह्मांड चारों ओर से फैल रहा है ये ब्रह्मांड हर एक सेकेंड साइज में बढ़ता जा रहा है तो ये जानने के लिए कि इस ब्रह्मांड की शुरुआत कैसे हुई हमें सिर्फ समय को रोकना होगा और पीछे जाना होगा चलिए थोड़ा पीछे चलते हैं कुछ ज्यादा ही पीछे शुरू हो गए जिसे न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन कहते हैं 
उससे बहुत ही ज्यादा एनर्जी निकली और उसी समय कुछ ऐसा दृश्य हुआ इस ब्रह्मांड का पहला तारा अस्तित्व में आया